basically today we have uh, five participants and they were told to come up with mobile applications where they will try to address uh, issues of to do with energy and agriculture. So under the energy they were told to come up with uh, a mobile app which can um, monitor the energy consumption uh, in our homes. And under the agricultural sector they were told to come up with uh, a mobile app which is more or less like a forum where uh, farmers can exchange um, information. And then specifically under the agricultural app they were told to um, include different languages like Chichewa, Chitumbuka, since you know it's not many farmers who are well conversant with uh, English. The only uh, thing that uh, we have to take side is only boys. We don't have, uh, we don't have any girls which is pretty much disappointing. But nevertheless, we hope at the end of the day to carry the message forward to say we need to use technology to solve most of the problems which we are facing in our communities if we are to develop. So I decided to come up with a project that is based on uh, electrical power monitoring. And since I've been working on different projects, uh, I had this other project that I had to combine uh, under development in order to come up with this project that I'm presenting today. At the end of the day, we also have prices for the participants, certificates, and they'll get away with some monetary prices. If this culture is uh, cultivated, especially among the youth, it means we we'll solve most of the problems because now they'll be uh, innovative to say we have to solve the problems using uh, technology. So we encourage the youth to embrace technology. They should try as much as possible to uh, at least learn something, especially when it comes to computers or coding and everything. Yeah, because I think computers or coding has really solved uh, a lot of problems when you look at most of the countries which are developed. So if we really need to solve most of the problems or if we really need to reach out to a lot of people, I think they do it, especially mobile apps, since nowadays almost everyone has